Today, we will talk about the changes we can observe in matter. There are two types of changes, physical change, chemical change. A physical change happens when a substance goes under a change, but its composition remains the same. It is reversible. A chemical change, on the other hand, always results in the formation of a new substance. It is irreversible. So, a physical change is one in which a material changes from one state to another. It is reversible. It does not change the composition of the material. And no new substances are formed. For example, when frozen apple juice is thawed, it melts from a solid to a liquid. If you refreeze that juice, it will turn back into a solid apple juice. Its composition will remain the same in all states. Nothing new is being formed. It's still apple juice. When you're eating ice cream and your ice cream starts to melt, only its appearance is changing, but its composition remains the same. It's still ice cream. When you have a large piece of paper in your hand and you want to tear that piece of paper or you want to cut it with the scissors, it's still paper. Nothing new is being formed. The composition is not changing. Also, if you have a piece of wood in your hand and you want to break it into two pieces, it will still be wood. Nothing new is being formed. It is a physical change. On the other hand, a chemical change occurs when two or mater more materials react and create new materials. There's always a reaction and always, always, always they're producing new materials. The new materials have completely different properties from its original substance. There are four indicators for a chemical change. The first one is change in color. For example, when iron is reacting with the oxygen in the air outside, it produces rust. So the color of the iron changes from silver to reddish brownish. The second indicator is change in smell. If you leave food on the kitchen counter for too long, it will start to go bad. It will have a different smell. There will be a change in smell because there is a reaction happening and something new is being formed. The third indicator is a formation of a solid or gas. Now, if you're adding vinegar to a baking soda in a beaker, it will be producing gas, carbon dioxide, when it reacts. So something new is being formed and there is a reaction occurring. Now, when this reaction is happening, it's absorbing all the heat from its surrounding. It is an endothermic reaction. So the beaker will become cold. Another example. When you're baking a cake, it is a chemical change. Your batter, cake batter, has different properties than your cake. Something new is being formed. You're adding heat, heat to your batter to make your cake. Something new is being formed and there is a reaction happening. Another example, when you're frying an egg, you're creating something new. There is a reaction happening. It is irreversible. Okay, let's do some examples. For physical or chemical changes, you need to ask yourself questions. For physical change, you need to ask, something new being formed or is there a reaction? If it's no, it's a physical change. If something new is being formed and there is a reaction, it is a chemical change. Okay, the first example, the change is crushing ice. The observation before is that ice in large pieces. But after the change occurs, ice is in small pieces. So look at your before observation and after and figure out is it a physical change or a chemical change. The second one, baking soda and vinegar are mixed. Before, baking soda is a white powder and vinegar is a clear liquid. But after, the bubbles are being formed. Is it a physical change or a chemical change? Third example, rain freezes and it hits the ground. Before, it was liquid water. After, it was solid water. The last example. Sodium thiosulfate mixed with hydrochloric acid. 
before sodium thiosulfate was white and crystals. Hydrochloric acid was clear and liquid. Now, green precipitate is being produced. The answers for these questions are in the description below.